Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the pilot injection learning on a Toyota Verso D4D. This one's a two litre. Now you'll have to do this on a lot of the Toyota range vehicles, D4Ds mainly, um, when you replace an injector. Okay, now I've already put one injector in this vehicle, uh, cylinder number two, and I've, I've programmed it in, so I put the code in. Um, so we're past that point, but then you'll find yourself with this fault code. P1601, okay, and you'll have a management light on uh, constantly. Um, I'll start it up for you. Doesn't seem to run bad, but um, management light is on, and eventually you get another light come on. I think the traction light lights up. Uh, now that's because we got to do the pilot pilot quantity learn. Okay. Now that's to uh, allow the ECU to learn the characteristics of the new injector. So let's have a look in here. We're going to calibration now. I'm using the worth well, but any decent diagnostic machine will be able to do this and it'll be under your special function somewhere um, so let's let's just switch it off for a moment put the ignition back on and we'll go to pilot injection quantity learning okay this function is used to learn the pilot injection quantity into the engine control unit use this function after replacing the engine or the injectors okay uh, and it says glow indicator starts to blink when it's in learning mode. So that's really what we want to see to know it's working. So note read and understood. Continue. Engine running at idle speed. Okay. Okay, right, my temperatures aren't up to uh, where they need to be at the moment uh, to carry on with the procedure. So rather than watching the whole thing, I'm going to pause it and come back to you when we start to move on from this stage. If you can see there, low plug light is flashing because uh, we've started the procedure, but our temperatures aren't correct yet. So I'll carry on in a minute. Okay, here we are. So uh, we've got the temperature up now to about 80 degrees and um, we've Come to this screen which says increase the engine speed to 3000 rpm then release the accelerator pedal completely and quickly release the pedal within two seconds from the beginning of pressing the pedal when engine becomes idling repeat procedure one again note about 10 times repetition of the procedures is needed when the condition is fulfilled this screen changes automatically so we've got to be quite quick get it up to 3000 release the pedal within two seconds um, let it drop down to wide or do that 10 times so let's see how we get on And there we go, function complete, press the OK button to end this test. So we'll go to OK. No, low plug light has stopped flashing. Management light is off. Uh, quick note for you guys, uh, sometimes you may have to go into pilot injection quantity learning values clear. Um, I have had to do that in the past, it all depends on what um, what's stored in your ECU at the time. Uh, right now, let's see if we can clear these two codes. There you go. No trouble code stored in the system. No lights on. So there you go, guys. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.